Hello, Paul Synthmania. Beringha sent in the Crave synthesizer for review. Thank you very much, Beringha. Let's take a look and a listen. And in the box, we have the Crave synthesizer, the power adapter, and the quick start guide with the sticker inside. And also when you remove the unit, there are patch cords on the bottom. All right, let's do a quick walkthrough of the panel controls. On the top, MIDI in and out slash through. And then there is a very large patch bay with um, the ins in the transparent color here and the outs with the black lettering. Oscillator VCO section here, pulse width, mod, mix, with a bunch of uh, different oscillator shapes, modulation source and destination. The filter section, cutoff resonance, uh, VCF modulation, and um, again, source and polarity and mode of the filter can be low or high pass. This is the output uh, main volume. And this is the envelope section with attack, decay, and sustain, and sustain on and off. Here is the modulation with the LFO rate and the shape of the LFO. Then there is a section called utility, which has the glide and VC mix. The bottom section has a sequencer. This is a powerful 32-step sequencer. And here you have the tempo slash gate length knob bunch of uh, buttons for the settings, uh, hold the rest, the page, play stop, the loop. And these are the um, octave slash location uh, LEDs that show you where you are in the sequence. And uh, this is step mode and keyboard. And these buttons are in the shape of a regular piano keyboard so you can create your own sequences. And in the back of the unit, we have the dip switches for the MIDI channel, USB port, and uh, the power on and off button with the input for the power adapter. And this is what happens when you turn the unit on. Vegas mode activated. All right, let's make some sounds. And I don't see a quarter inch jack, so I suppose we'll use this VCA slash line for the output. All right, I just dialed up a quick sound with um, the sawtooth. And there's also a little bit of a glide here. Let's remove the glide. And going up and down the octaves. Now, a cool thing about this synth is that they used um, the Profit 5 CEM 3340 oscillator, or since it's monophonic, more like a Pro 1, it, and it does have that characteristic uh, gluey sound. But they added a um, letter style filter, a 24 dB letter style filter. So it's more like Mogish here. Now for the shape of the waveform, you have two choices. Uh, this is the sawtooth, but you can also engage the square. Of course, you can modulate it with uh, LFO by just switching from um, the modulation source. Right now, it's an envelope oscillator modulation. Just switch it to LFO and you can modulate it. Let's 
go back to the saw and um, this is the envelope section and you have the attack here. And then you have the decay. And also the sustain. Which you can turn on and off. All right, let's look at the arpeggiator and sequencer section. Let's start with the arpeggiator. This is a really cool arpeggiator with several functions here. And uh, you just enter it by pressing the arpeggiator button. And now when you press the keyboard, the notes will arpeggiate. You can also latch it by tapping twice on the ARP, ARP setting or just pressing the hold button right here. And now the notes are held. Without having to keep the notes pressed yourself. There are eight arpeggiator modes and um, you can uh, switch them with the shift button and the eight buttons here. And um, you need the arpeggiator to be on. So this is the standard up one position. This is the down position. Down and up. Random. This one is a cool one to do like a sort of a, the Duran Duran 80 style Jupiter 4 style. And number five is um, plus one octave arpeggio. And number six is the opposite, down one octave. Seven is up minus one octave. And eight is down. And if we add some uh, delay to the arpeggio, you can get really cool sounds. Uh, this one is a Boss DD3, and we're gonna go through some examples. First dry and then wet.
All right, let's talk about the sequencer. This is a really cool sequencer on board that has 32 steps. The way you manage them, you have this button called page and this green LED that shows you the page where you're at. So this is one through eight, nine through 16, 17 to 24 and 25 to 32. And you can uh, also set the end so let's say we want to do a simple pattern of eight steps. So right now we are on page number one and we want only eight steps. So let's set up the set end here, shift set end to number eight. This way only the first eight notes will play when we start the sequencer like this. Now another cool thing about having a patch bay at the top of the unit is that we can interface it with a lot of other stuff. Uh, you, of course, Eurorack is the main target, but you can also interface it with older gear such as this Boss Dr. Rhythm DR55. And I've got the, um, the trigger from um, the DR55 going to the tempo sync of uh, the Crave and you can get really cool sequences like that. So let's build up a quick sequence. Let's uh, go to keyboard mode, uh, shift keyboard, and let's record eight notes. And that's it. Now when you play back, you have a nice major seventh uh, sequence and of course you can uh, sync it to the DR55 and add a little digital delay and you get this here. Let's reset it from the beginning. Now with the shift button, you can create variations of a sequence at, that yields really cool patterns in real time. For example, this one with a syncopated drum beat from the DR55 and acting on the shift button.
Now, of course, another cool thing that this synth has, has MIDI and full CV gate implementation. So you can really play as a standard synthesizer with a, with a real keyboard so it's uh, easier to play than from um, the buttons there. And so you can get a lot of different types of sounds from this keyboard. And here are a few of them. Here's an 80s glam rock lead. Here's an 80s electronic sound with LFO set as a rhythm. And here is a 1970s style mini Moog lead with the excellent uh, transistor ladder filter of the Crave. nineteen seventies soundtrack special effects. Thank you. 
All right, as you have heard, really cool and versatile machine. You can use this for a lot of genres, acid, uh, multi-pattern lines. You can use it for funk, you can use it for 70s uh, special effects. And it's got this unique combination, really cool, of uh, the CEM oscillators with the um, transistor ladder filter. Very interesting. Again, thank you very much to Beringha for sending it in. I will see you at the next video. Thank you.